Welcome back. You're with Midcap Radar. Before the break, we brought you uh, an exclusive news break on Trey Infra that, uh, according to sources, many of the employees had been asked to go and look at the stock impact. The stock is now down 7%, but from the top, it has lost about 10 odd percent. Uh, the company, though, has denied that there is uh, uh, this uh, news of the layoffs is absurd, but uh, nevertheless, it looks like the liquidity crunch in the NBFC space is really starting to take a toll. But uh, here's more on that space. In fact, the Reserve Bank has this morning incentivized banks to lend to NBFCs by relaxing the liquidity coverage ratio norms. Despite that, the housing finance companies are taking it on the chin. So India Bulls Housing Finance has now lost, uh, what, in excess of 15% uh, almost. DHFL is down 10% and the list goes on. Lata is here to uh, break it down for us. Lata. I'll first uh, explain the complicated good news uh, because of the way in which the rules are structured. Now, under RBI rules, 20% of a bank's deposits should be invested in government securities. A further 8 to 9% have to be invested in what they call high-quality government bonds, bonds that can be easily sold, you know, like 10-year paper. Uh, whereas in the SLR, you can even have state bonds and things which are not very liquid. A part of the S, uh, bonds that you hold as SLR can be counted for uh, LCR, that is high quality liquid bonds as well. What RBI has said today is that if you incrementally lend to NBFCs and HFCs, to the extent you lend, that amount of government bonds, even if they are not very liquid, they will be counted as high quality liquid assets for LCR. So for banks that are dying to get uh, high quality bonds and therefore have to take money away from lending to the private sector, this is a boon. But, uh, uh, you know, it's not, uh, it looks like it's not a great deal. Now, I just want to say the other rule that RBI came with is that single borrower limit, you know, there's a limit to which a any bank can lend to one single borrower. For an NBFC, uh, non-infra NBFC, it has been raised from 10 to 15 percent. Now, the uh, impact of this is that, first of all, since it's non-infra NBFCs, uh, the, it's the likes of uh, HDFC and, uh, uh, or more importantly, LNT Finance, Chola, etc., which are advantaged. Now, if at all banks want to increase lending, they are very likely to look at the asset quality. And therefore, a, a, a company, a housing finance company like HDFC could be advantaged. Now, Credit Suisse has made a calculation that banks have actually raised their lending to NBFCs by 40% year on year from last August to this August. Uh, I further looked at the numbers. Actually, this 40% growth had come earlier itself, you know, by April. From April to August, actually, they have not lent additional money. So the, it appears that ba banks are already uh, of the impression that they are overexposed to NBFCs. Now, we spoke to several bankers, and they are very clear that, yes, we will use the rule, but we will do, you know, to, we will do a great deal of due diligence on the quality of assets we pick up. Now, the last point that I want to say is that uh, the RBI has raised the single borrower limit for NBFCs. It has not included HFCs over there. That has also raised eyebrows. Is RBI worried about the asset quality of HFCs, which is why it has not included them in the single borrower limit? That also is working against the housing finance company stocks. Thank you, Lata. But the RBI norms doesn't really seem to be helping the financial space at all right now. We have been talking about our India Bulls housing is down 15%. Take a look at HDFC as well. Now, there's a buying coming in for HDFC at the lower level as well. That stock has lost close to 3.5%. And in fact, overall, the market is coming under a lot of pressure. The cut on the Sensex is now accentuated to 600 points. Nifty sitting with a cut of around 200 points. We're close to the level of around 10,250 on the Nifty. The mid cap now seeing a cut of around 250. 50 points and the banking space which was very close to the you know uh, flat line earlier now has seen a reversal and is trading with a cut of around 0.9% so a 230 point cut on the bank nifty so looks like when we are coming closer to the last sort of trade the volatility is coming back into the markets and the sensex now down about 600 points and, uh, you know, I must point out, Shrey Infra, for the nth time now, it's now down 14%, and this hour it's lost 17%. So look at the way that stock is just falling, uh, cutting through like a knife. But uh, let's also get you some more reactions. We spoke with a, host, a whole host of industry experts uh, to give us their take on this uh, development by the Reserve Bank. The broad definition of NBFCs under the RBI Act, any company which is engaged in the business of providing finance, including housing finance companies. So I guess it does. It benefits the larger NBFCs. It benefits the, if, if, assuming this applies to housing finance companies, which my sense is it will, then it benefits the larger housing finance companies. More important pieces, 
uh, how good or bad is the quality of the assets held by these NBFCs. As far as the liquidity coverage issue, relief is concerned, we were having surplus liquidity with us. We are, of course, available to all the NBFCs who would like to have, uh, who have got good quality of uh, of ALM and also who have got assets. And we have uh, we have also gone on record saying that we can even pick up their assets also, and uh, we can do some kind of a pool purchase from these uh, these NBFCs. If you look at the uh, holding pattern of all these NBFCs, at the end of it, it converts to a single parent or a couple of uh, you know related kind of a thing. So it is not as simple as it is that you know the housing finance companies can be straight away looked at differently as compared to let's say an NBFC or an infrastructure finance company. So we will have to uh, take it back to overall liquidity of the group rather than in an, an, any individual uh, entity. Okay, so the markets continue to see a lot of pressure. The Nifty is still sitting with a cut of around 200 points and the Sensex down about 600 points. A lot of stocks really coming under pressure. We have been pointing out how HDFC is coming under a bit of pressure. Asian Paints, which comes out with numbers on Monday, is also seeing a cut of 1.5%. And Yes Bank, which has been under pressure since morning, has seen a cut of 3% in just last uh, hour or so. Remember, Yes Bank came out with a clarification that they do not have any exposure to super tech and all of this is market trade rumors but that does not seem to be helping or aiding the sentiment when it comes to yes bank as of now access bank is the other one now that one is down about three and a half percent as well and we have seen earlier some recovery in the metal names but that is also that is also losing ground so hindalco seeing some selling pressure as well as well as the auto names so pick up an m and m a hero motor corp aisha motors bajaj auto all of these things sharp, sharp selling when it comes to the auto stock. So pretty much the, the cuts that we are seeing on the Nifty are pretty much secular. IT space has been under pressure since morning. We have seen weak results coming in from the mid-cap IT space as well. And Infosys as well as TCS are the other two big names that are adding close to around 30-point pressure on the contribution chart. So it looks like uh, we are in for another, uh, you know, ending with uh, perhaps a bit of deep cuts that's true actually certainly looks like it so now it's two percent gone on the mid cap space and look at some of the individual stocks so uh shrey infra has lost 17 percent now look at some of the others you know dish tv uh down eight percent uh, there's the likes of idfc now down two what percent and a lot of this selling has actually come through uh, uh you know off late mine trees another one a big casualty today down 15 16 percent that has of course mm -hmm. been uh you know under pressure through the day but uh, other than that now some of the big drags of course remain the financials yes bank hdfc axis india bulls housing that one's been taking it through the day um as well uh, you know some mm. of the auto pack aishur maruti tata motors hero motor corp all of these stocks are trending with weakness but we'll wrap up on mid cap radar for now up next uh, your stocks uh, will answer all your queries stay tuned